My man JR Castro is in the building yeah. and he's giving us his top five today. All right, he's gonna break down what top five he's gonna do, right? Yeah, yeah. For sure. all right. this here is my top five sorry songs. Now, top five, these songs are in particular just you know, songs that I may have uh, dedicated to certain girls throughout my life. You know, and it's just a way of me saying sorry when I can't find the words to say sorry. So, the number five song is going to be. Before I name it, I, I, this song was, uh, I remember at one point, um, I think I was in high school, and uh, we were in school, and I had two girls liking me at one time. <clears throat> I chose this other girl. I chose one girl because, uh, for the wrong reasons, and when I knew I should have chose the other girl. So, uh, and this around the time was the song that came out, and it really was one of those things where, uh, you know, I, I wanted to dedicate to her because you know, I felt like I was missing her, you know what I'm saying, on so many different levels. Uh, and it's a uh, case missing you. The number four song, uh, this was a dope song to me because um, have you ever been in a situation where you just felt like you would do, uh, you would do anything, you know, to keep someone or to get someone? And... Um, I was in junior high school around this time, and this girl, she had a crush for someone else. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I actually envied this guy for a long time because uh, this was somebody I really liked a lot, and uh, he got her. Um, but I know I was feeling this uh, this way, um, and the song talks about it. Um, it's genuine, off of the Bachelor album, I'll Do Anything, she Sorry. Put your hands on. My number three song, now this is a really special song to me too because at this point I had been in a relationship for a long time. I was young. It was actually my first relationship, uh, one of my longest relationships. And it got to the point where uh, we were together for so long that, um, you know, I had never been in another relationship. So, you know, I wanted to see if the grass was green on the other side, you know, which may have been a bad, you know, decision then, but it allowed me to learn a lot. And um, I remember this song coming out, and I dedicated this song to her. Uh, it's Donnell Jones, Where I Want to Be. I just left my baby girl a message. Now, my number two song is by a group, uh, one of the dopest groups to me to ever do it. Um, this song is definitely one of the songs, again, that speaks in volumes to me personally. Uh, I was in this, another situation with a girl that, you know, she may not have felt secure, you know, because of my own issues that I've had, uh, you know, with, with past girls and stuff like that. And um, she was really good to me. She was great to me. And um, I just wanted to reassure her that, uh, you know, everything that she's done for me and, and, and the way she treated me was valued. And, and I wanted to just let her know how special she was and that, uh, you know, even though it didn't work out, I really did feel like, you know, it was going to be a forever thing, you know. Um, so the number two song is Jagged Edge Promise. So why will we let this thing go? Maybe I promise. Now, my number one song is by another group. Now, this song, uh, man, this is actually one of my favorite, one of my most, uh, favorite songs that I listen to daily. Like, I listen to the song all the time. I still even can't believe, like, I messed up this situation because this girl was so perfect. You know, and this is the same girl um, that I was talking about on my number two song. Now, uh, I'm just gonna let the song do what it do and, and explain exactly uh, what it really was for me. It's by NSYNC, and it's called Gone. There's a thousand words that I could say To make you come home yeah. Yo, yo, now that was my list on that'senough.com Left me alone 